What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we all was trying to figure out what was going on with Krishan's um, jail situation yesterday. And Krishan was saying it has something to do with downtown L.A. And she don't even be in downtown L.A., right? So this whole time, what I was thinking was, Krishan hit somebody else in the face. That's really what I was <laughs> That's really what I was thinking. Like, this is a whole nother situation. Come to find out it's the James Wright case, right? Cool. Clearly, she hit that man. You got to pay for that. But y'all remember, if I ain't mistaken, she was supposed to have court in like between March and April or something like that, right? So I, I can't remember the date. So she was supposed to go to court. Come to find out. She did not go to court, okay? So <coughs> since she didn't go to court, <coughs> she has a warrant out for her arrest. So my problem with this is you didn't remember that you had court for James suing you? If they are able to sue you, that means you got served. You got served by somebody, right? So boom, here, go the, here goes the... Uh, shout out to Hot, Hot Tea, Hot Chocolate. She's covering all this Krishan stuff. So, um, no bail hold. Oklahoma probation violation warrant. L.A. can hold her up to 30 days. I'm going to explain that in a minute. 20K bail, misdemeanor, James Wright case, minor. So, what happened was what she was working out with her lawyers when she said, I'm paying for stuff and it's getting taken care of. She was talking about the James Wright case. But what made it even worse is she did not go to court. Now, my problem with this is if you've been paying lawyers to do whatever, they should have told her she had a warrant. And what I feel like they did was told her she had a warrant. Now, she's saying that her people was looking into it, but it ain't really much to look into. If you knew that that James Wright situation happened and you knew you didn't go to court for it, everybody knows that you will get a warrant if you don't go to court, at least for something like this. So whatever she did pay them, they knocked it down to a misdemeanor because y'all do know it was a felony in the beginning. So let's just talk about that. Whatever she paid, she paid. But my, my gripe here is, what would make you take your ass to that jailhouse or court, excuse me, to the courthouse in L.A. where you already have a charge at and, hell, have a warrant at and you decide to go up in there anyway. Now, how WAC 100 knew that she could potentially be going to jail, that's, so that part is also questionable. But he told her, at least from what he say, I told her don't go in there, bruh. You don't go to this jail. You are going to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't go to this courthouse. Excuse me. You're going to go to jail. So she tried it anyway, like she likes to do. So she has no bond. Okay. It is with assault, assault with deadly weapon, not firearm, battery on a person with injury. The assault without a deadly weapon is because of them rings she had on. That's how she was able to crack his teeth. Now, she may not understand that, but we all do. Especially like y'all know brass knuckles are illegal, right, in most states. So if you put on brass knuckles and you hit somebody, it's, it's illegal to even have them in some states, right? Because you know when you, when you hit a person, you could potentially scar them for life or kill them because, you know, that's metal on somebody's face. People used to always have them back in the days. You know what I'm saying? But they always used to say it's illegal. Like if I get caught with these, it's almost like being a felon with a gun. You know what I'm saying? So the rings is what made it a deadly weapon. Okay. Then also battery on a person with injury. Um, he had to go to the hospital. Uh, he had to get his teeth fixed and all this other stuff that he said he had to do. So, that is the reason why she's in jail. That's, in the re that's the reason why she got a 20K bail. Now, she could bail out. She could have, excuse me. She could have bailed out 20K, no problem, if she didn't already have 
um, if she wasn't already on probation in Oklahoma. Now, for those that don't remember, she got put it on a suspended probation in Oklahoma, which means the same uh, suspended probation that Blueface got put on. If you sneeze, nigga, if you cough and salt come out, you are going to jail. And the jail sentence is four years for those that don't know. So it is a possibility that Oklahoma can be like, yep, hold her down. We're going to be there and within 15 to 17 days, but we got 30 and we're going to come go ahead and come pick Shawty up. All right. They decide to come pick her up. She goes to Oklahoma. She will have a hearing slash court date, whatever in Oklahoma, which would be uh, a proceeding to convict her of whatever it is she did and give her her sentence, or they could potentially put her on house arrest because she does have money and keep milking that cow. I think, I think it does. They get money either way, right? They get money, whether you in jail or you got to pay for probation and all that. But I feel like they can up the ante on the probation. So maybe to torture her, they can be like, you coming back to Oklahoma, we're going to let you out too. However, you're going to be on house arrest in Oklahoma. I'm just giving y'all the theories, right? Now, I and I definitely think Oklahoma is coming to get her because they've been saying Oklahoma is not a state to play with at all. I ain't never been to Oklahoma in my life, don't know nothing about it. I don't even know where it's at, to be honest with you. But I'm just saying that's what, you know, the people are saying. So, Oklahoma decided to come get her, boom, she got to pay for all that. You got to pay. That's on your dime, all of it, right? They decide, all right, we're going to get you a hearing in 60 days. So go ahead, sit it down for 60 days. Boom, they decide they're going to give her a court date, let's say October, August. You know what I'm saying? She get a court date, August, October, whatever, and they say, you either going to serve these four years or you're going to be on probation. And you got to stay in Oklahoma. So if they put her, uh, not probation, if they put her on house arrest, she can potentially be on house arrest for the next four years. Now that's just torture. Give me my time. <laughs> Let me go ahead and sit this one out. And granted, at least you will be free. But knowing the way she operates and just don't listen to nobody, thinks she's above the law and thinks she can do certain things that she just simply cannot do. She going to be in a situation. Okay. So, that's that on that. I don't know if any of y'all know this um, or or as clear as I just explained it, but there you go. Let's read some of these comments. Uh, free her. We love you, Rock. Just hold your head up, baby. You're going to be home soon. All right. James Wright, I can't wait for her attorney to get on that. A. Um, it's nothing for the attorney to do with James. She got to uh, either pay that man or I don't know. I don't know, because that's the part we don't really know. She might have to pay him, though. That's that's what I do know. Um, I don't give a F what the charges are. If a presidential candidate can walk around with 50 limb felonies, she should be able to be the, f <clears throat> my bad, the F home with her son. This is some BS. Um, man, free her. James not hurt. They don't have no footage of what happened. And everybody who told that story all has something different to say, which I absolutely agree with. And I still stand on that because a lot of y'all was like, you know, when they come out and they say she did it, she did it. Yeah, that's cute. But once again, the, the, the footage ain't there and all the adults. And I mean, the older adults, I mean, the elder adults who came out and had something to say, their stories was not adding up. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what favoritism you think I got and all that other person was you got going on when them, when they came out with them stories, the shit was capped. None of it made sense. None of it was adding up. Y'all do know I do this for a living. None, none of it. It just, it didn't make sense. So with that being said, I'm still not on the side of that. Um, and the dude who was recording yesterday pissed me off. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Uh, we still dealing with the Tamar mess. I wish she never went to that show. Uh, I work these cases. These, these are nothing lol she will get probation classes maybe an ankle monitor yeah that's for la the nobel is only because it's out of state no other reason it's not based on the seriousness of the charge she should use a public defender and get good honestly 
Um, I think outsiders had her worry far more than she had to now that I see this. <clears throat> what I think this person don't know is what she's already dealing with in Oklahoma. But we all going to see. Do I want her to go to jail? Nope. I hope she don't. Do I want her to learn her lesson though and stop thinking that she can just walk around here like she's a ghost and don't have responsibilities? Yes. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.